Are you confused about whether you should have the follow button or connect button on your LinkedIn profile? In this video, we'll be looking at what following and connecting means on LinkedIn and the pros and cons of both. You've also got the possibility of adding a follow button or a connect button to your LinkedIn profile. So I'll be taking you through step-by-step -step instructions on how to add each of those buttons to your LinkedIn. I'm Jonathan Pollinger. I've been a social media trainer since 2009, helping businesses achieve their objectives using social networks like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Threads, Pinterest, and all the major social networks. I've also been a trainer for NILC and established an agency where we manage social media. If you're interested in learning more about the contents of this video or any aspects of social media, check out the links below. Let's get straight into the video. So on LinkedIn, you've got the choice between having the connect button, as we can see here on your profile, or the follow button, as we can see on Stephen Bartlett's profile here. You can see that I'm already following him, but if I uncheck that, you'll see that there we go, it's the follow button there. Connecting and following. So when you connect with somebody, a couple of things happen. So first of all, you get to see each other's content, each other's posts in your newsfeed. And secondly, you get the ability to message each other. Following is a little bit different. It's a one-way relationship. So when I follow Stephen, just gonna click the button there, I will then start to see his posts in my newsfeed. So, for non-high profile people, why would you want a follow button? Well, if you're producing a lot of content, so you're regularly posting, perhaps you've got a newsletter, perhaps you're doing audio events, perhaps you're writing articles, blog posts essentially on LinkedIn, then the follow button could be for you. Particularly perhaps if you've already built up quite a strong network and you're looking to raise awareness through your content. The other point about having the follow button, that really there is no disadvantage because you're not excluding the ability for people to connect with you. So if I go to more, you will see that Stephen still has the connect option there so I can connect with him in the usual way. So it's something that I would recommend. So how do you switch on the follow button? So what you have to do is turn on creator mode, something called creator mode. So let's have a look at my profile, drop down to resources, and you can see that creator mode is currently off. So I need to switch that on. So it gives me a panel there. I click the next button and it gives me a number of things, number of features, so topics at the top here, along with some creator tools. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see that I have got the follow link as LinkedIn call it there. So if I turn that on, there will now be a follow button displayed on my profile. So people have that option, as the default option, as the main option, they can see the button when they visit my profile, but if they want to, they can always go to more and connect that way. So that's how to add a follow button to your LinkedIn profile. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. Do like the video and subscribe to our channel for more information on our courses and of course our latest videos, do check out the links below. See you on the next video.